Today, we are going to be looking at Apple's performance over the last 20 years and see if it is still realistically possible to make a million dollars from investing in Apple stocks. So uh, with that, let's go. Oh my goodness. Okay, so how do a girls rig an apple with their bare hands? Because obviously I'm not stronger than most guys. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, a girl cannot break an apple. Are you kidding me? This is so incredibly hard. Oh my god. Currently, the price of Apple is $173. If we go all the way back to 20 years ago in 2002, you can see that it was valued at an average of 35 cents. Now, if you guys have never seen Apple at 35 cents, uh, this is because uh, this chart is uh, price adjusted for the stock splits, which happened here. So uh, since 20 years ago till now, Apple has gone up um, 173 divided by 35 cents, which is around 495. 4.3x so almost 500x 500, 500 times the original amount or 50,000 percent over the last 20 years if you guys actually break it down to growth rate per year you guys would find that apple has grown an average of 38 percent every year over the past 20 years 38 percent the s p has only averaged 7.5 percent over the past 20 years now, let's look at its finances. So overall, its revenue has been growing steadily over the past 12 months. And more importantly, its earnings before interest and tax, its EBIT has been growing too. If we look at its quarterly financials, we can see that in March 2021, Apple grew 53% year over year. In June, it was 36% year over year. In September, it was 28% year over year. And in December, it was 11% year over year. Next, we're going to be talking about how long you should be holding Apple stocks for. Everyone says that if only I had bought Apple 20 years ago, if only I had bought Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, whatever, whatever. But the truth is, even if you guys did buy those stocks 20 years ago, what are the chances that you guys would have held on to it for so long? The only people that I know that has actually held it on for so long is uh, this guy's grandfather. And chances are, he probably just forgot about his Apple socks. In a Reddit post by Big Weed, which, judging by the name, I'm sure he is a very skilled investor. He says, Grandpa died and left me with 7,000 shares of Apple. Diversify or let it roll? So my grandpa got cancer and honestly, it's been a bit sad the last few days. But now the real question comes and that is, what's next? Well, he was quite the autistic and decided to dump my old college fund all into Apple way back in 03 because I enlisted instead. It's now grown harder than I on prom night and I'm looking for a way to buy a new wife that doesn't already have a boyfriend. So what I need to know is should I move it around or keep it rolling in Apple like an autist? Edit, I forgot to mention, he literally had nothing more than an 8th grade education back in 47. Now, and this is pre-split Apple stocks. If he had kept it all the way till now, he would have had over 28,000 shares of Apple worth $4.8 million. Now, if we do the math backwards and do all the reverse splitting, we can figure out that his grandfather actually bought around 500 shares of Apple for around $10,000. Now, my question for you guys is, would you guys have put $10,000 of your money into Apple at that time it was not very big and kept it for 20 years? Chances are most of you guys don't have $10,000 now to buy into Apple. And even if you guys did buy $10,000 way back when, chances are you guys would not have held it all the way till now. Would you guys have really held it when you guys had a million dollars in Apple stocks? How about two million? Three million, four million dollars in Apple stocks. 
But you know what? Let's just say that you guys have just decided to buy Apple and just buy it and forget it for the next 20 years. How much Apple stocks should you buy? But before we continue talking about stocks, uh, let's pause a little bit and give a shout out to my sponsor, I Trust Capital, which it mainly handles in a cryptocurrency, and they are helping me paying my bills. So I Trust Capital is the world's largest crypto IRA. Forbes ranked I Trust Capital as the best crypto individual retirement account for low fees. It is free to use. All you need is an initial $1,000 deposit and you guys can open a crypto Roth IRA, which allows you to grow your crypto account tax free, uh, tax free. You guys can take it out at 59 and a half. I believe is a good thing because it'll stop you guys from taking it out when you guys shouldn't. They have a lot of stable crypto coins as well as some meme coins for you guys to invest in. And they are constantly adding new coins to their lists. So if you guys are interested, use my link below and get $100 of Bitcoin rewards when you sign up with an initial deposit of $1,000. Thank you very much and back to the video. Part three, how much is enough? Well, different people have different numbers. So I made my own spreadsheet so you guys can put in your own numbers to figure out what you are comfortable with having. Well, let's say that you start off with $10,000 like the grandpa in the story. If you invest $10,000 at a price of $173 per share at its current price, and instead of the 38% yearly growth of Apple, which they have had for the past 20 years, Let's say it was a 30%. If it was 30% growth, then you would have a million dollars in 18 years. You would have $2 million in 20 years. Now, let's say that you guys don't have $10,000 to put into Apple right now. What if you only have $1,000 to put into Apple? And then with $1,000, you would have a million dollars in 27 years, all right? Pretty long, pretty long. But what if you can invest $1,000 every year into Apple? Uh, how much money would you have? Well, if you go up here and you add in $1,000 every year into Apple, then that would decrease your time to uh, 21 years with a market cap of almost $700 trillion. Now, the reason why I like this spreadsheet is because it allows you guys to see the incremental changes every year and what to expect. Because if you guys are expecting a million dollars within five to 10 years, that's probably unreasonable. So test out the spreadsheet and figure out the number that you are comfortable with investing. Number four, what is in Apple's future? I believe that what has gotten Apple into a $2.8 trillion market cap is not going to get it to a $700 trillion market cap. I think it needs to do something new. So here are two things that Apple is currently working on that I believe is gonna push them up over the edge if they make it successful. The first one is the Apple car, which will probably be called the iCar. Now, there are a lot of rumors of what it could look like and what it could possibly do, but that's all there is to it. No one has a definite confirmation on any of the rumors. For me, the only thing that I know for sure is that one, it is going to have autonomous driving, uh, obviously. And number two, it's probably gonna be pretty expensive. It's gonna be a high class car. I don't think Apple is gonna make anything cheap. And this is because the Apple car is the biggest endeavor that Apple has ever taken. Tim Cook says, we are focusing on autonomous systems. We sort of see it as the mother of all AI projects. It's probably one of the most difficult AI projects actually to work on. So obviously the amount of technology that is going to go into this car is gonna be astronomical. It needs to be safe and it needs to be cool for the consumers. And you know that Apple is not gonna disappoint. They would more likely delay the release of the car than to put out a bad car. And with Tesla being a trillion dollar company after only selling 2 million cars, a little bit over 2 million cars over their entire lifetime, over their entire lifetime, 2 million cars, okay? And it's worth a trillion dollar company. Some companies like Toyota sells 2 million cars a year. I believe that the car market space has a lot of room for Apple to go into. The next project that Apple is rumored to be working on is in the Apple glasses. 
This is their attempt to enter the metaverse space, a space that Facebook is trying desperately to dominate. But Apple is definitely investing a lot of money into the metaverse space, making sure that they get their cut of the pie. If you guys want to know more about it, there's this video by John Coogan that explains how heavily Apple has invested into the metaverse space and how they are trying to beat out Facebook in their race to enter Web 3.0. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks so much, Anne. See you guys later. Bye.